Evening everybody, a local mother frustrated with the lack of progress in solving her daughter's murder takes her concerns directly to police today. 15 year old Chelsea Johnson was stabbed to death in a creek bed in 2012. Investigators confirmed yesterday there is only one person of interest in the case. Local 12's Larry Davis spoke to Johnson's mother. He joins us live now from Fairfield with why she now has renewed hope. Larry. Hi, Cammie. When detectives said they had a person of interest in connection with her daughter's death, Vicki Feibel didn't necessarily jump for joy. As a matter of fact, she was still angry, thinking the investigation was pretty much where it was four years ago. But after meeting today with Fairfield Police Detectives here, she says she's encouraged. Vicki Feibel was back in her old neighborhood today. This is where she lived at the time her daughter Chelsea was found murdered four years ago. There has never been an arrest, but after meeting with Fairfield Police today, she is encouraged. They got more people on it, on her case. It's not going to be sitting there by itself. More people, there's tips still coming in. So now I feel much better and I know they're still on her case and they're not just, it's not just being a cold case sitting to the side. Feibel would not go into detail about her meeting with Fairfield detectives, whom she has been at odds with since the start of the investigation. She says the fact that no one has been arrested for her daughter's murder has worn on her. Horrible, horrible. It's been awful. Four and a half years and we're in the same spot we were four and a half years and nothing being done. Yesterday's announcement that detectives had a person of interest in her daughter's death didn't phase Vicki Feibel. She wants an arrest, but she also wants detectives to be certain. I want this to stick. I do not want him to walk and, and continue to be a free man. That's not fair to me, Chelsea, my family. What's to say he's not going to do that to another 15 year old girl? With another holiday season approaching, Vicki Feibel is still looking for closure. She wants answers and her daughter's killer behind bars. She's on my mind 24-7. Not a day, not a minute goes by I don't think about her, you know. It's horrible, but now I got some more hope and I can keep my head up a little higher and I believe it's going to happen. And Cammy, I never saw, uh, I've never seen Vicki Feibel so upbeat as she was after that meeting with Fairfield Police Detectives today. Now, two years ago, a man was actually arrested in connection with the case, but a grand jury never returned an indictment. Investigators are hoping that with time passing by, that somebody will actually step forward, not only on this case, but the Caitlin Markham case. Vicki Feibel is just hopeful that somebody speaks up. Live in Fairfield, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. Larry, I'm just curious. I know that um, police have not named the person of interest, but does Vicki Feibel know who this person is? She seems to know who it is. She has had her uh, suspicions all along about one person in particular. Uh, and she, that's what is so frustrating to her is the fact that the, uh, an arrest has never been made. But, you know, in so many cases, People think they know and, uh, you know, they're, they're not the investigators, but uh, she has always felt pretty confident about that. All right. Remains to be seen, and I'm sure we'll find out. Thank you, Larry. Vicki Feibel also says she's really pleased that detectives narrowed the list to one person of interest in the Caitlin Markham case. She says both families have stayed very close in contact since the murders.